Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, all of this beast will fit in my cup. S'more Beast in My Cup is a 10% Imperial Stout from Pigeon Hill Brewing Company in Muskegon, Michigan. Pigeon Hill has had some pretty epic Black Friday releases, and thankfully for us, the last couple releases have been making their way onto store shelves for us to enjoy, too. Now, this beer, S'more Beast in My Cup, along with the newly renamed Cinegram, which used to be called, uh, I think it was your grandmother on French Toast, were Black Friday releases for 2018. This can, along with a bunch, a bunch of White Flame beer, was sent to me by friend of the channel, DJ Plender. So huge shout out to DJ for the awesome beer mail. Let's get this into a glass. We'll take a look at the label and we'll put it through the paces. Fun fact, one of the earliest published recipes for a s'more was found in a book of recipes published by the Campfire S'mores Company in the 1920s. So on the can here, there is a lot going on. Uh, I'm going to start on the side because that's the side I picked up first. It says brewed uh, and canned in Muskegon, Michigan by Pigeon Hill Brewing Company, in case you didn't know. On the top, it says a one-of-a-kind, delectable, delectable limited release. And it says, did you know, this is it's 10% ABV and has a 10 cent deposit. Across the front, it says s'more beast in my cup. And it has a unicorn with a that has like a s'more, or I'm sorry, a marshmallow that's on fire sitting in a pint glass. It says canned just for Black Friday 2018. A mystifying new release from the fine folks who brought you multiple generations on French toast. And then the government warning. There is a canned on date on the bottom here. It is 11-14-18, which of the time of this recording was just about a month and a few days ago, about a month and a week ago. So yeah, that's what we got going on. I'm going to go ahead and grab my, I have an Ascension glass here. It's a, a nice little kind of goblet style glass here. And we're going to go ahead and open this up and get a nose on it. Let's see. Sometimes you can pick up some scent kind of sitting here with it open. Wow, lots of vanilla. Getting some graham cracker in there, too. Um, vanilla and graham cracker, big time. Smells very sweet. So I'm going to say the vanilla is more like a marshmallowy. But it smells really good. I mean, I'm not going to wear it as a cologne, but it, but it smells pretty good. So let's go ahead and pour this and see what we got. Pretty dark, but it's looking kind of thin out of the actual can here. A little bit more aggressive on the pour here, see if we can get some head to bubble up there. Let's set that right there. Let's get a better nose here. Uh, actually, we'll take a look at it. Very dark, uh, very minimal head. Uh, I'm going to say that's not from my pour because I kind of got pretty aggressive on the tail there. And uh, head's pretty thin. It's about a half a finger, maybe. Uh, the color of it is very dark. It's not, it, it poured a little bit thinner than it's actually sitting here in the glass. Uh, what I usually do to look at for color is I kind of look at the bottom, maybe third of a glass and see, because sometimes when it, as it gets thinner in a glass, you can kind of see a color a little bit. It does have a, a very light color it looks kind of like a muddy brown maybe a little bit darker than that but on the top it's definitely dark uh definitely not much color much light getting through there so let's get a better nose here in the glass yeah getting a lot of graham cracker getting a maybe a little hint of cinnamon lots of marshmallow vanilla kind of scents it has a little bit of an alcohol leg kind of hanging on there this is 10 percent, so i'm ready to dive in cheers Wow, a lot more cinnamon than I was expecting. I got a little bit of a cinnamon taste on the nose. It's very sweet. It has like a, as you would expect, it's it's s'more beast in my cup, right? You would think it's going to be pretty pretty light, pretty sweet. It does have a thinner kind of mouthfeel at 10%. I was expecting a little bit thicker than this. Like I said, I'm getting a lot of cinnamon out of this. The sweetness that I get in it, is a lot of kind of like a marshmallowy cinnamon kind of taste, but it, it tastes a little bit on the artificial side, which I'm not a super fan of, but let's get a little bit better taste here. Yeah, 
Yeah, on the front here, getting a lot of the marshmallow vanilla kind of taste, maybe a hint of graham cracker. Uh, and then on the swallow, as it kind of sits on in my mouth and on my tongue after I swallow it, that's where I'm getting a lot of the cinnamon taste, a lot of the cinnamon flavor. I, I, I don't get much chocolate. Maybe on the very tail end, I'm getting this kind of dark chocolate, but I'm not getting a milk chocolate like so I'm thinking in my head, I'm equating it directly to a s'more, right? Which is a gra graham cracker, marshmallow, and chocolate. So I'm getting some of the graham cracker, I'm getting some of the marshmallow, but I'm getting cinnamon with that marshmallow, and I'm getting not much of a chocolate taste. Maybe that aftertaste, as it kind of sits on your tongue, I can kind of say maybe that's more of a dark chocolate. It definitely has a lot of cinnamon. Again, if this was a Pee Wee's Playhouse episode, word of the episode would be cinnamon. The The word of the day for this episode would be cinnamon because that's what I'm picking up a lot on the tail end. I almost wonder if this is really an offshoot or some kind of variety or version of Cinegram or your grandmother on French toast. I think that's what Cinegram is now. You know, Graham makes me think that. So this is like a, a good dessert beer, but I think that for me personally, I just pick up on that artificialness, that artificial sweetness taste to it, uh, like artificial sugar kind of taste, like a sweetener, like a st uh, stevia or like an aspartame or some kind of really kind of rough um, artificial sweetened taste. And that just kind of sets it off for me. That's kind of like it's kind of tainting the whole rest of the experience because I, I like the sweetness of it. But that kind of aftertaste that it leaves on my tongue just kind of like I said, it, it tastes artificial to me. But the rest of it, I love the way it smells. I love that I'm getting the, the vanilla and the marshmallow and the graham cracker. I think graham cracker and a stout does really well. Like it, it can do a whole lot of stuff for you. It can do a lot of wonders to kind of push the taste forward. As I'm kind of looking at it through the glass here, I'm, I see that it is a little lighter on the edge here. Yeah, but for me, when I see s'more, I take that kind of literal and I would like to get a little bit more of the graham cracker and a lot more of the chocolate, I think. If they do another version of this, I know they say it's it was brewed especially for the Black Friday, or canned at least for the Black Friday release. If I could see on the next release, if there is one, more of the chocolate, more of the graham cracker, and keep the kind of vanilla and the, the cinnamon and the marshmallow kind of flavors where they are, but definitely amp up the graham cracker and definitely amp up the chocolate. All right, friends, that is S'more Beast in My Cup from Pigeon Hill Brewing Company. If you head to the tap room, let them know that you saw their beer right here. Now, were you able to get your hands on this or maybe the latest um, version of Cinegram? Let me know what you thought in the comments down below this video and stay tuned to Draft Therapy for more Michigan beer reviews and videos twice a week, every week. You can also find links to some merch, uh, my social media, all that good stuff in the description below this video. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by and remember, Drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.